Ever since Benjamin Franklin chased what he called a whirlwind into a Maryland forest in 1754, scientists have struggled to explain the nature and structure of tornadoes. Early theories ranged from a central vacuum sucking air upward to the heavens, to steam power or electricity providing the storm's generative force. Some even proposed firing cannonballs through funnel clouds to let the air out. From the late 1800s until the 1930s, the Weather Bureau wouldn't even say the word tornado in its forecast. There was the idea that people would overreact and panic if there was a tornado warning. So our knowledge was very limited. What they did know was that tornadoes were killing a large number of Americans. No one knows all the facts about tornadoes. But meteorologists can... When Dr. Fujita came to the United States, there was not much known about tornadoes, and a lot of what was published or taught was wrong. You could see in encyclopedias that the tornado wind speeds were the speed of sound. There was all sorts of misconceptions. The exact location of the tornado was flashed to the nearest radar station. By 1953, Storms that were producing tornadoes had been seen on radar, and they were seen to have a distinctive pattern. In the coming years, the National Weather Service would begin creating a network of radar stations across the country to help detect tornadoes. The resulting flood of new data would be a gold mine for the young Fujita, and he would apply it in ways that had never been done before. <laughs> 